Hey everyone, this is the third video in a series of videos that are made to explain Boolean logic gates with binary notation. This video focuses on the NOT gate, as you can see, and the last two videos focused on the AND and the OR gates respectively. If you haven't seen the first two, you might as well go back and check those ones because this builds on knowledge from those. Now the NOT gate differs just slightly from the last two gates we've been looking at. Whereas before we had the AND and the OR gates, the NOT gate changes by having, instead of two inputs, just one. So it becomes really simple. Here, let me show you the Venn diagram. Here we have more. In one input, X, and if X is input in this big circle, whatever X wasn't is what NOT is now. So X was the circle, and NOT X is everything outside of the circle. Here we have what is commonly used as Boolean notation for uh, Boolean NOT. What other notations there are, and the one I like to use is having an overbar. So let's say we have our input of A. It could be either true or false, we don't know. But if we take our input of A and we put an overbar over it, that means NOT. And the usefulness of this is that it doesn't require brackets when you're putting not around an entire group of things. So if I were to say not A or B, I would just put the bar over the entire group. Uh, I also have over here logic lab with a simple not gate on it. So not 0 is 1, not 1 is 0. Alright, so over here we have the truth table. So not zero is one, not one is zero. And not by itself is really simple. So it's not often seen by itself. It's often combined with other gates that give it more power to produce more complicated decisions. That's why this video is going to be short, because I'm going to go ahead and show you those gates instead of trying to combine not into a different circuit. But I'm just going to show you this one last example. So coming back to the teacher. So if your teacher tells you, do not pick up the pencils, you leave the pencils alone, hopefully. Uh, so do not pick up the pencils. Pencil, pick up the pencils being true. If you pick up the pencils, it's true. So not true is false. You leave the pencils alone. Now in English, it's called a double negative if you not a not. So do not not pick up the pencils means you have to pick up the pencils. So not not is true and it's just the same. That's how things work out for not. The next gate I'm going to show you is the nor gate which is a combination of the not and the or gate which gives some interesting properties.